Hi, I'm Andy Parr, and you're watching The Gadget Guru. Hey, check this out. I am in an absolutely gorgeous 2012 Ford Travel IH45. And I've been noticing something, and it's not just with this coach. It's with a lot of coaches from a lot of different manufacturers. And it's something that makes absolutely no sense to me. And it has to do surround sound and a motor coach or RV. So stay tuned because we're going to talk about that. And that's next right here on The Gadget Guru. For those of you who might not be in the know, surround sound is a method of getting movie theater like sound in your home. Basically, if it's set up properly and you're watching TV or a movie or Blu-ray or whatever, it's going to make it appear like the voices are coming from the TV and the music is coming from the sides of it. And around you are the special effects, like if you're watching a Bruce, Bruce Willis movie. And that's all fine and dandy because if you're at home, that's how it works. Now, on newer motor coaches, what they're doing, they're using sound bars and putting them in the proper place to put them is directly below the TV, not above put them below and then that way it makes it seem like the voices are actually coming from the actor's mouth and then the sound and, and the uh, the music is coming from the sides and the effect it uses some sort of spatial algorithm to make it sound like it's coming from uh, around you but let me tell you I don't get it on coaches because the thing is with surround sound you can really only have a small area of sweet spot your your speakers need to be set up for it I mean some sound bars have it where you can preset locations and with using remote control it will change that sweet spot around but now here's what I don't know if I'm motor coaches and I'm going to use this coach as an example because over here see this speaker up here that's the left channel that's the center channel that's the right channel over here are the rear channels so basically they're set that if I'm sitting down over here and I'm facing the TV over here, the voices are going to come from here and the sound effects are over there. So I'm going to say, we're talking coaches that stick it in price around a million dollars up front. Now, but anyway, I just want to say this because, you know, hey, motor coach designers and manufacturers, I'm glad that you're moving over to sound bars because it just makes a lot more sense. If I'm missing something, and I'm not understanding how this thing's supposed to be working. Leave your comments below and let me know. So that's my rant of the day. I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr.